Hey, good morning, folks. I hope you enjoy the day. Today, I would like to introduce some of my friends from Australia. He and I been knowing for two years through Facebook. I thought it's a good idea to exchange information like fishing in Australia, fishing in Japan. So I hope you guys enjoy the conversation between us. You have a bunch of lures in front of you, right? Yeah, I got them everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> All right, that's a popular one too. The oh, Japanese right. 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 They were probably one of the first, um, you know, Japanese swim baits when swim baiting started to take off that were catching a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, Guys that were using them slowly got bigger rods and looked at um, the jackal gigant arrow. Wow, it's a yeah. big one. <laughs> yeah, they're big. So yeah. um, they've been probably the most popular. And um, yeah, jackal has always been very popular. And then, you know, if you um, are very lucky, you can try something like. <laughs> the Clash Joker. Oh, um, Joker. Wow. I think now a lot more guys are using big glide baits too, mm -hmm. like Depth 250s. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are some American uh, swim baits as well. Like, um, I think at the moment it's more Japanese swim baits, but the lures like the Bull Shad. But wow. that's a lot of good Murray cod, a lot of real big Murray cod actually on the bull shad. But um, it's just you probably every six months you find a new lure out of Japan to try. So yeah. <laughs> you remember that one? So yeah, yeah, uh, that, that is very uh, now popular in Japan as well. Yeah, and it's it has not a too back. big the shape. Is looks like a one one of a kind of shape, you know. It's very unique. Yeah. Also, a fair bit of thump out of it, which is unusual. Uh -huh. But um, yeah. Besides that, I've got you know so, stuff everywhere. Uh, Gancraft, Gancraft's very good, and mm -hmm. a lot of guys use a mega bass now, and uh, oh, there's endless amounts of Japanese lures, really. So, so. Japanese lures like jackal is the most popular in Australia, but also depths like mega bass are famous yep. as well. Yeah, yeah, I think um, a couple of guys even have Roman maids. So I haven't seen too many cod caught on Roman maids because um, they're so expensive. But <laughs> I think slowly you'll start to see a few um, cod caught on those and. Um, there's all the new ones that have come into like Fat Lab. Um, oh, there's just so many different ones now. A lot of new little, little makers. So um, I'll try try them because every time I see them, I want to buy them. So uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I think now after you know listening to the tactics and the the how to get fish i have more concrete idea to get marico so all what i should do is just go but because now i can't go out outside like even like from tokyo i can't go outside so i hope i really hope after the coronavirus is okay then i could go australia and fishing <laughs> yeah yeah it's definitely I think you just need a basic idea of where to go and a lot of guys will have um, big enough tackle and just make sure you've got um, maybe 40, 50 pound line. Sometimes you need to upgrade your hooks um, depending on what lures, like a lot of the Japanese swim baits do need hook upgrades, especially if you are going heavy line, heavy rod. Mm -hmm. Besides that, um, yeah, just get a general idea where to go. You know, you can catch good cod and good amounts of cod. So, um, 
it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, a lot of it's just like chasing largemouth bass that set you going extra oversized sometimes. All right. Okay. I really hope that you will get a big Amari card in winter season soon. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, that's it for today. So next time, what I've been thinking is I will explain the, you know, tactics, how to get bass in Lake Biwa. I think that could be very interesting people in Australia, right? Yeah, yeah, that's probably my number one, I think. <laughs> I, I always change what I want to do. And um, for the past probably two years, it's maybe, yeah, catch a largemouth bass in Biwa and maybe Kawaguchiko as well. But, and then I keep seeing on your channel different places come up. So definitely I want to go back to Japan. I was supposed to be going back next year, but I'll see if that changes. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I think it's like Australia too. We have dams and lakes and rivers, and then a lot of guys have seen the big rocky gorge country, mm -hmm. um, the Chase Murray Cod, whereas Japan, you've got your lakes, um, there's a few rivers, and then we see the same thing, like big rocky country where the water's really clear or really bluey looking. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, um, you know, yeah. definitely a place that some of us would want to go and try to catch parchment out that. Wow, yeah. And the, for for the if you use like a big lures, you can actually see the bass are chasing your lures. That yeah, very yeah. you know interesting <laughs> and exciting. Yeah. So I hope that I could go fishing soon and can yeah post on my YouTube channel and hope you enjoy it. Yeah, no, definitely. All right, uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much uh, again for talking to me. Yeah, uh, awesome. I'll, uh, I'll keep watching your channel and uh, yeah, I'll see. Um, I'll probably watch a few of the old videos as well again. <laughs> yeah, I'm dying to go fishing too. Yeah, and I'm also searching for uh, some of the interesting videos, especially yeah, like people using uh, Big Bay and I will post it on my Facebook channel, Tokyo Fishing. Yeah, I'll um, be watching. Uh, yeah, check in. <laughs> okay. All right. So thank you very much for talking. Have a nice day. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Take it easy.